Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Chemical Adda. In today's video, we are going to understand one of the important topics in chemical reaction engineering. The integrated rate equation for a first order reaction in a variable volume batch reactor. Before we get into the equations and their derivations, let's first take a moment to understand what a first order reaction is. So, in first order reaction, the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of only one reactant. Hence, consider the reaction, A gives product. Therefore for first order reaction, the rate of disappearance of reactant A can be written as minus RA is equal to KCA equation number 1 where minus RA is the rate of disappearance of A. K is the reaction rate constant and Ca is the concentration of reactant A at any time t. Now, since we are determining the integrated rate equation for a first order reaction in a variable volume batch reactor, it's important to consider the changes in volume during the reaction as it affects the concentration of the reactants. So, let's start by writing the general equation for the rate of disappearance of A for a variable volume batch reactor. So, we can write minus RA is equal to minus 1 by V into DNA by DT is equal to KCA. So, to derive the integrated rate equation for a first order reaction, we first need to express this equation in terms of conversion and then we can integrate the equation to get the final form. So, step 1 is, let's convert NA, CA and V in terms of conversion. So as we know, the number of moles of reactant A at any time T is given by Na is equal to Na0 into 1 minus Xa where Xa is the conversion of reactant A at time T and Na0 is the initial moles of A. Now, differentiating this equation with respect to T, we get DNA by DT is equal to minus Na0 DXA by DT. Next, as we know that the concentration of reactant A at any time T is Ca is equal to Na by V. Now, let's replace the value of Na and V in terms of conversion. So, as we know, in a variable volume batch reactor, the reactor volume changes during the course of the reaction. Hence, the volume of the reaction system varies linearly with the conversion. Hence, V can be written as V is equal to V0 into 1 plus epsilon AXA, where V0 is the initial volume, and epsilon A is the fractional change in volume of the reaction system between no conversion and complete conversion of reactant A. Now, let's put the value of Na and V in the equation 4. Hence, equation 4 becomes Ca is equal to Na0 into 1 minus Xa divided by V0 into 1 plus epsilon A into Xa. So, as we know Ca0 is equal to Na0 by V0. Hence by putting Ca0 in the place of Na0 by V0, we get. This equation gives concentration in terms of conversion for variable volume batch reactor. So, now we have three equations. DNA by DT, V and Ca in terms of Xa. Now, step 2 where we substitute the value of V, DNA by DT, and CA into the rate equation, that is equation 2. So let's put the value of V from equation 5, DNA by DT from equation 3, and CA from equation 5, in equation 2. After doing so, equation 2 becomes Now, we can cancel the minus sign on the left-hand side of this equation and we can replace Na0 by V0 by Ca0. Hence, we get. Now, we can see that both sides of this equation have a common term 1 plus epsilon AXA which we can cancel out from both sides. Hence, the equation becomes DXA by DT is equal to K into 1 minus XA. This is the simplified form of equation 2. Now, let's integrate this equation within the following limit. At t is equal to 0, xa is equal to 0. And at t is equal to t, xa is equal to xa. So, let's rearrange the term for integration, we get. dxa by 1 minus xa is equal to kdt. 
After integrating the equation, we get. After applying the integration formula, we get. So now after applying the limit, we get. After solving this equation, we get. Minus ln1 minus xa is equal to k into t. Hence, this is the integrated rate equation for the first order reaction for the variable volume batch reactor. But as we know, in variable volume batch reactor, volume of the reaction system varies linearly with conversion. Hence, we have V is equal to V0 into 1 plus epsilon AXA. From this equation, let's find out the value of XA. Hence, we get V by V0 is equal to 1 plus epsilon AXA. Then, epsilon AXA is equal to and finally we get XA is equal to delta V divided by epsilon AV0. Now, let's put the value of XA in equation 7. Hence, we get minus ln of 1 minus delta V by epsilon AV0 is equal to KT. So, this is another form of integrated rate equation for a first order reaction for a variable volume batch reactor. Now, let's conclude this topic. So, for a variable volume batch reactor, there are two forms of the integrated rate equation for first order reactions. From this equation, we can conclude that if we plot the graph of minus ln of 1 minus xa or minus ln of 1 minus delta v by epsilon av0 versus t, we will get a straight line having the slope is equal to k. So, that's all for today's video. I hope you found this explanation of the integrated rate equation for a first order reaction in a variable volume batch reactor helpful. And if you haven't watched the previous video on the integrated rate equation for a zero order reaction in a variable volume batch reactor, make sure to check it out for a better understanding or you can find the link to that video in the description box below. So keep watching. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more chemical engineering content. Also, feel free to comment below for more content suggestions. Stay tuned for more amazing topics and I'll see you in the next video.